Shadowmantis, and welcome back to another episode of Let's Play The Legend of Zelda, yeah. The Four Swords Adventure. Alright. Link, the Tower of the Winds has vanished. If we enshrine the royal jewels on the Four Swords sacred ground, the temple may reappear. Well, we'll go on ahead and guard the sacred ground from your foe until you arrive. The power of darkness has halted the flow of time here. And winter lingers on. We must believe in tomorrow and hold true to our hope. May our passion keep our hearts from freezing. <laughs> Link, you must find first to seek out the final royal jewel. Then we will go to where the Tower of the Winds. Oh. Wait, what? Go to the Tower of the Winds. That's basically what they said. All right. So I. I hate this level. I hate it so much due to the ice. Ice is my least favorite puzzle mechanic in any in any game. If there's if there's a game and it has puzzle mechanics, then and it has ice as one of them, it's it's gonna be my least. It's gonna be my least favorite. The only the only thing that redeems this level is the music. Music is awesome. Look at the Pegasus boots. Uh, it's a remix of uh, a Link to the Past music. I think it's um. I think it's either Lost Woods or yeah, I think it's Lost Woods and Death Mountain in the Dark World. That's right. This game got its Dark World mechanics from a Link to the Past too, as well as its graphics. Basically stole everything from A Link to the Past and just put four people in it. Except for the story. Vaughty wasn't in Link to the Past though. But just how they remix it, this song is amazing. So just pick up this four block. And there will be a couple of soldiers in here. That's fine. Nothing you can't deal with. So, also, this is a pretty long level. If you think about it, not as long as uh, that desert temple that we were in. But, uh, yeah, very long. And then we got the Quake Medallion. With the Quake Medallion, we won't have to deal with those guys up there. We just have to throw it down. They won't be a problem. Oh shit. Shit just hit the fan. Now you're getting annoying. Now you can just slash him. Wait, one. Can't get in line here. So. Lots of force gems. That's good. Five hundred force gems. That's that's all right. So here's this house, but it has a locked door. What do you need for locked doors? You need a key. But this is no dungeon. Where would you find? Where would you find a key? I don't know. So these snowballs are like possessed or something. Blue bracelet. They're like possessed and they follow you around. There's a giant snowball wall. Ooh. Flame rod. Or the fire rod. I would enjoy that for this freezing level. Blizzard warning. Take care not to stro stroll out too far during blizzard conditions. If you're exposed too long, your strength your strength will fade away. Be careful. Well, I haven't seen any strength fading away. It's so basically every couple of seconds. I I haven't seen anything fading away at all. So here's this little hole here. When you go down, I even when it's like the blizzard, when it does the blizzard, it really doesn't do anything. It just takes maybe a quarter of your health of a heart. 
I don't even need to go down that hole. So now we've got to get the bombs. Pick it up. And we got to run. we got to run, 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 run. Throw it there. See that little indent in the, in the wall there? You gotta throw it right there. See? I'm out in the blizzard, it's not doing anything to me. So get the bomb and basically run. We have just enough time to throw it. Yes, we got a fire rod. That's good. And now with that, you can burn these little force gem ice cubes and turn them into force gems, which is very good. See? I already have a thousand, and we're about a quarter of the way through the, the level. Throw that rock at the ghost, because he sucks. And now I'm getting a horizontal line and start blowing off this ice wall with snow wall. Now there's lots of force jumps over here. It's like I don't even know the amount, it's just a lot. So now getting a vertical line. Maybe a diamond. See, already we got 1,500 around there. Now these guys won't be a problem. And here's the key. So go inside the house. And get that tre treasure. Which is 200 force jumps. Which is really good. You can go this way, and there's... A kind of a mini game over here. I'm just gonna do it for everyone else's sake, not for mine. Well, it's not really a mini game, it's more of. Um. It's a random treasure. Another. It's, no, you need this. I was. I was. Incorrect. It's the power bracelet. You know the thing that you can pick up the trees with? Yeah, that's it. You don't need to switch your item, don't worry. All you need is a power bracelet. Claim that. Pick this up. To get a whopping 250 force gems. I already have 19,000. This this is the mini game I was thinking about. Another Deku scrub. I'll forget about you. Mini game. All you have to do. You have to kill all of these these turtles. Ooh. Now we powered up our four sword. Ooh, he's taking my force gems. But once your sword's powered up, you can't depower it up. So, oh, he got me. I hate these levels. I hate them. These levels suck ass. So we only got a couple more to go. So that's alright. We got a 7 kill combo. Oh, now it's gone. Now we got a 1 kill combo. I don't think I've explained those numbers. Those numbers mean the amount um, of enemies you've killed without taking a hit. And I think, here's just what I think, pretty sure the bigger the number, the bigger amount of force gems you will obtain once you beat that, you know, excuse your fa fire rod, there's 100 force gems over there, but I don't need those. The, 
The bigger the number, the more amount of force gems you will get when beating him. So, we, we really have a lot right now. You don't need to go over there. Just use your fire rod over here. And, uh... Yeah, there we go. Alright, now kill this guy, because he's annoying. Actually, if I think about it, it's not really that long a level. We got another heart container. I don't know why they leave, leave this heart container just lying out. So now go to the west. Steel. <laughs> Steel tingles force gems. And all you gotta do, get in a square. A square. A square. A square. There we go. And all of these. All of these penguins. We're just gonna be attacking you. So get in the diamond formation. Just keep on mashing the B button. Just keep on mashing it. You don't even have a choice anymore. Just mash it. But if you don't, you're just gonna die. These things. There's like 50 of them. They just charge you. If you don't have enough force gems, you should probably do this mini game. I guess it would be a mini game because it's optional. Now the last penguin. Nope, it's not optional. <laughs> I'm always getting my facts wrong. You need the moon pearl. What? Why am I going over here with it? Hmm. I I wonder. Just throw it down. It's the fire rod. Here's the fire rod. And then pick up the moon pearl. And, uh, but that's all I have for today. So thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next part.